And welcome back to the New Orleans Saints franchise mode here on Madden 25. The Saints are 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, we're 2-2 two and two going into this divisional matchup here with the 1-3 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A game that I think we should win, but I thought we should win a lot of these games. Should have won a lot of these games so far this season. Of course, we find ourselves at 500. It doesn't feel like a must-win game, but a game that you really want to have. Coming off a 37-34 loss against the Houston Texans last week on Sunday Night Football. And our defensive coordinator just is not cutting it. So officially, we are going to make the move, if I can find it, and fire our defensive coordinator. It's probably not his fault, but Benjamin Turner... Time, your time is done. We're going to hire a new defensive coordinator, and we are going to hire... Uh, oh, God. Who's got talent? I don't... No one's got talent here. I am going to hire... Jax... No. Uh, we're going to hire Scott Anderson to be our new defensive coordinator with the New Orleans Saints, because whoever it was before, Benjamin Turner, dog, your defense was the worst defense in the NFL. Will that change anything? Probably not, but we have a 415 start at home against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here in week number five. Our offense is playing well. We're just throwing a lot of picks. Spencer Rattler is second in the NFL in passing yards, only behind CJ Stroud, who completely dominated us last week. But Rattler has been playing well. Again, second in the NFL in passing yards. It's just the interception numbers are up. He's got nine of them so far this season, which I believe has to be first in the NFL. It is above Baker Mayfield's eight, who are, we are going to be playing tonight. But he's got to be leading the NFL in touchdowns. He is second in the NFL in yards. It's been a decent season so far for Rattler. We just got to find a way to hold on to the football. Our rushing attack hasn't been as good as it has been in the past, obviously. Again, Alvin Kamara ran the ball really well last season. Nick Chubb has kind of struggled to find his footing so far as a Saint. And Chris Olave, by far the leading receiver in the NFL. He's got, I mean, 100 or actually over 200 yards on both second and third. Stephon Diggs and Tyler Boyd in third. So, again, Olave's been that guy. We just got to find a way to keep throwing the football effectively and getting the run game more involved, at least more than it has been as or so far this season. It's a completely winnable game this week against the Buccaneers. We should get it done. Looking a little bit forward, we've got the Cowboys next week. I believe on the road then we go to san francisco to take on the niners which is an nfc south rematch or sorry nfc championship game rematch from from last season so let's get it done man bucks and saints from new orleans a chance to go back over 500 the saints get the one and three tampa bay buccaneers at home and nfc south matchup from the superdome let's get it done and folks if you haven't yet though make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more saints franchise mode here on the channel let's do it bucks and saints from new orleans yards wise that is the best quarterback in all of football the cock commander spencer Rattler. Now, he has benefited with a really good receiving core and all around just weapons around him. I'm talking about Chris Olave, Jackson Smith, and Jigba, who is back and healthy to, to Atwell, a rookie tight end by the name of Dalvin Crosby, and of course, this running back core that seems, you know, improved from last year. I like Dalvin Kamara a lot, but I think the additions of both Nick Chubb and Chuba Hubbard has really been beneficial towards the Saints team. No longer are we playing Alvin Kamara every single down of every game like we were last season, and now we've got a power back in Nick Chubb who we're paying a decent amount of money to, who's got X Factor, along with the guy in Chuba Hubbard who can catch passes out of the backfield. I think that running back core is a lot better than last season, and I really think Spencer Rattler has benefited through it here in 2025. So there is Spencer Rattler, 1,355 yards so far this season, 15 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. The Saints will get the football first here against Tampa Bay to kick off week number 5, and Rattler finds Chuba Hubbard to the outside. Not a great ball as he is brought down at the 30-yard line, but a good start for the Saints to get the football now into Tampa Bay territory. First and 10 for Rattler, to his left, finding Chris. Chris Olave, he goes up and gets that football. New Orleans has it now to the 14-yard line. Rattler from under center hands it off to Nick Chubb. Chubb pushing forward will be brought down at the 6-yard line, bringing up now a third and inches from the 4. Rattler on the give to Nick Chubb. Up the middle, Chubb working, pushing, he's in. New Orleans takes a 7-0 lead just like that. Nick Chubb gets in for the touchdown. And here comes the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield. A rough start to 2025 for Baker. 986 yards, 7 touchdowns, 8 interceptions for the Tampa Bay franchise QB. Mayfield's got it on a 1st and 10. He will go to his usual weapons. We're talking about Chris Godwin, Mike Evans. Right there, it's Godwin to the 45-yard line. Here comes a 3rd and 6 from the 49. Mayfield looking to throw in the pocket. Going to his right. That ball's pipped. Going for Godwin again, but it's Isaac Yadam with the interception. Not a great ball by Baker Mayfield, and the Saints are going to take advantage right off the bat. 
it is Mayfield's ninth, and that is now a league leading ninth interception of the 2025 campaign. Here comes New Orleans back with the football on a second and 10 counter play to Nick Chubb. He is going to find his way for a pickup of seven yards, bringing up a third and three. Rattler looking, scrambling to his right, gonna throw over the top to Nick Chubb. And he just misses them. Setting up for a fourth and three. New Orleans will keep their offense on the field from the 34-yard line. Rattler looking to throw to his left. That ball is going in no man's land. And Tampa Bay gets a stop. Forcing a turnover on down. So here comes Mayfield back with the football from midfield. Looking to throw in a third and seven. And that ball is almost picked. Isaac Yadam almost got number two. Tampa punts it back to New Orleans. The Saints got it from their own 34-yard line. Rattler looks over the middle, finds Tutu Atwell, the former Los Angeles Ram. The Saints have it now to the 47-yard line. Rattler on a first and 10. Hand off to Chuba Hubbard, of course, has seen an expanded role in this offense. And Hubbard might be off to the races. And he's in. The former Oklahoma State Cowboy gets in. It's a 53-yard house call for Chuba Hubbard. It is 14-0 Saints just like that oh man we did miss the extra point don't want to talk about it but 13 nothing for new orleans chuba hubbard gets in with a long touchdown as we go into the second quarter up by 13. tampa bay looking for their first points of the game second and five for baker mayfield to his right he will find chris godwin holds on after a huge hit by demario davis and tampa bay now has it from the 39 yard line hey our new defensive coordinator has gone a full quarter without allowing a single point something that rarely happens here with the saints that we get a shutout quarter yes a quarter it's it's crazy stuff going on here second and inches how do we not okay nope defensive coordinator is gonna get fired H how do we not make that tackle there i mean we are completely in front of mike evans somehow evans runs past our rookie safety and he gets all the way in the end zone touchdown tampa bay it's now a 13 to 7 game so the saints back with the football here comes the cock commander on a first and 10 looking over the top chris olave wide open and that's gonna be a 77 yard touchdown for the saints one play new orleans responds to the mike evans touchdown Olave says anything you can do, I can do better. And the Saints retake their 13 point lead. It is 27 for New Orleans. Here comes Tampa Bay back with the football. Baker Mayfield gonna find his rookie tight end out of Clemson. That is Vaughn Webb for a first down to the 43. Second and nine, Tampa Bay. Mayfield being flushed. Down he goes. Another former Clemson Tiger. We're talking Brian Brees on the sack. Third and 19 for Tampa. Mayfield rolling, scrambling. That ball will be completed to one Cade Otten. But Tampa's short of the first down, bringing on another Saints drive here, starting from their own 21 yard line. Hand off Nick Chubb. Watch him move. Nick Chubb up the middle, running over a Tampa Bay defender. He's got the first down to the 38 yard line at third and nine for New Orleans. What a ball, what a grab. 2-2 Atwell with the snag. I'm glad he hung on to that one. It's a first down to the 44-yard line. Hand off to Nick Chubb again. Chubb really feasting against this Buccaneers defense as now it's a first and 10 from the 33-yard line. Rattler looking to throw, being pressured, and he is dropped and sacked after a loss of 11, setting up for a third and 19 from the Saints, or from the Buccaneers 42 yard line. Rattler getting to the outside, stays on his feet. Oh my goodness, Spencer Rattler's gonna scramble and he's got the first down. What a gutsy run by the former Gamecock, Spencer Rattler. South Carolina zone has got it down to the 16 yard line or the former South Carolina quarterback, obviously. He's got Dalvin Crosby to the eight yard line. Second and two, New Orleans, Rattler handoff. Nick Chubb up the middle, down at the three yard line, setting up for a goal to go opportunity. Second and goal, New Orleans, Rattler looking, scrambling to his left, he could run it in. Instead, he's gonna throw it and he's got JSN. Jackson Smith and Jigba's first grab in the game is a touchdown for the Saints. They extend their lead over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 27 to 20 as Tampa will try to get something else on the board before the end of this first half. And Godwin with another grab for Tampa Bay. Mayfield has gone to him time in and time out tonight. First and 10 bucks. Mayfield finds Godwin yet again. Five catches for 62 yards 
for him. First and 10 from the 30 now for Tampa Bay. Mayfield over the middle has got Mike Evans. Evans brought down at the 15 yard line with 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Here comes a Mayfield pass on first and 10 over the middle to Kate Auden. Auden's brought down at the six. Tampa with only one timeout goes no huddle. And by the time they get to the ball, they only have four seconds, so they have to use a timeout. Chase McLaughlin comes out for the chip shot field goal as Tampa Bay will cut this Saints lead down to 17 as we go into the third quarter. New Orleans, again, up by 17. The Bucks get the football here, though. Start off this third quarter. Mayfield on a first and 10, looking over the middle. He has guys running back. That is Rashad White. White going to take it all the way down to Saints territory to the 35-yard line. A big game to start this half off for the Buccaneers. Mayfield now to his right. Don't know how he snuck that one in to, I believe that's the former Washington Husky, Jalen McMillan. Third and five for Tampa Bay. Mayfield being flushed. He has to throw the ball away. And Tampa will bring out Chase McLaughlin and the kick team once more for a 37-yard field goal, which is good. And Tampa Bay does cut this game now to a 14-point game and a two-score game as the offense, though, for the Saints comes back out on a third and six. There is Chris Olave. His third catch of the night is going to get him over that 100-yard mark. Three catches for 115 yards so far for him. Second and 13 for Spencer Rattler over the top. He finds Chris Olave again on the post route. Olave's brought down at the 12. 151 yards receiving so far tonight for him. Second and 10 Rattler from the 11 looking on the swing to Chuba Hubbard. Hubbard brought down the three yard line setting up for a third and two. Rattler from under center handoff. Nick Chubb plowing his never mind. Wow. Okay. He stood up at the three. We're going to go for it on fourth and one. Chubb to the outside. Antoine Winfield pressured in. Chubb gets around him. Touchdown, Saints. They make it a 34-13 lead thanks to Nick Chubb's second rushing touchdown of the game. And again, it's not over, but a 21-point lead looks pretty solid for this Saints squad. Our defense is finally showing out. Again, maybe it's the new defensive coordinator. I do not know. But the defense only allowing 13 points so far. And we get another turnover. It's Willie Gay. Gay picks off Mayfield. He was looking for the former Oregon Duck, Bucky Irving. And instead, Gay gets Mayfield. And Gay will get the ball back for the Saints at the 32. First and 10, Rattler from his own 32-yard line again will find his tight end, Dalvin Crosby, coming back to the football. And that's a good completion to end off this third quarter. It has been all New Orleans tonight here in this divisional matchup in week number five. Saints up by 21, our score, 34. 213 over the Buccaneers. So just to close out quarter here for the Saints from the 43 yard line, Spencer Rattler looking to throw. No, he'll step up and he will run. Again, the speed of Rattler will get him the first down to the 31 yard line. Again, a touchdown or really just a score would end this game. Third and five, Rattler on the give to Nick Chubb. There's a first down. Chubb has had his way in terms of running the football so far tonight. 23 carries for 109 yards. Second and 11 for this New Orleans offense. Hand off to Chuba Hubbard. He's got a touchdown already tonight and Hubbard is brought down at the two yard line, bringing up a third and goal now for New Orleans from the one handoff Hubbard and oh Tampa Bay is all over it fourth and goal from the four might as well go for it up by 21 points with five minutes to go Rattler looking he will scramble to the outside and there is no one even in his area code Spencer Rattler gets in the end zone and that is the nail in the coffin here in week five for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers New Orleans goes up 41 to 13 Tampa here with it back with two minutes to go. Fourth and one handoff to Bucky Irving. Irving will get all the way in for a 21-yard touchdown. Every touchdown from every game, you know the drill, but it's a 21-point lead now for New Orleans. Uh, Tampa Bay actually will get the football back in the dying moments of this game. From the eight-yard line, here comes a third and goal. Baker Mayfield to his left. That ball's picked off. Looking for Mike Evans. Instead, it's Ennis Rakestraw Jr., of course. The offseason pickup from the Detroit Lions in trade. And he is going to finally put the stamp on the victory here for the Saints here in week number five. So by, by far, the best team performance that the Saints have had here in 2025. Again, from pillar to post, it was domination of this Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. The offense was firing on all cylinders. We didn't really have a turnover on offense. I did throw a pick in garbage time with Spencer Rattler on a third and like 15. That's my fault. That's how Tampa Bay got the ball back for that eventual Ennis Rake straw interception. But still, for the most part, it was very clean football night for the Saints. We kept, again, kept the ball in our possession like we mentioned earlier on in the intro. And the defense played pretty well. Again, we had that missed tackle and that Mike Evans touched 
touchdown as you're seeing right here but other than that the new defensive coordinator and our new defensive scheme which really didn't change did really well tonight for the Saints and we go into our road game next week in Dallas Texas with a three and two record we will see again how we will take on Dak Prescott and that Cowboys team a year after absolute domination in that same exact building when these last two teams last met so folks thank y'all for watching episode number 28 of the New Orleans Saints franchise mode here on Madden 25 if you haven't yet though make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the series so far folks thank y'all for watching and Mamba forever